Welcome to another Bonzolium video. Some tips on packing cymbals if you sell them on eBay, Reverb, or whatever, okay? What I have here is, these are great cymbals if you ever see them. This is a Pisces 502 Plus, okay? The plus, the regular 502s were kind of a lot like the PST5s, okay? The same, the 502s replaced the PST5s. The other way around. The PST5 has replaced the 502 Pluses. So the 502s were just before this. But the thing about the 502 Pluses is, is this, it's not laid. The finish is put on somehow, a proprietary method by Pisces. They call it the, like the Pisces Sonic Texture. And here, I'll bring it to you and you can see. You've never noticed this before. See that? See those lines? They're like, it's only on the top because this is, you know, it comes through on the bottom. So, they're great symbols. Uh, this is a crash model. I've had a bunch of these over the years. I just sold this one on eBay. 1414 14 grams, great crash. Has a lot of giant B characteristics. Um, anyway, but I'm gonna show you how to pack up symbols and send them off so they're safe. I've been packing up symbols since the dawn of time. I've been doing eBay for a long time. Before that, I was selling to a collector down in Georgia. So what I always do is I take the symbol, it's an 18 inch crash. Okay. I take it and put it in a bag. Okay, it doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be a, a, a ultra high quality bag, but just a bag to protect it, you know, from the tape. From the tape. And then, so here we go. Here it is. See, in a bag, simple in the bag. Now what you do, this is great advice, even if I do say so myself. Get cardboard, okay? These are like slices of cardboard you can cut up a box okay and what you want to do is the 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 corrugation runs this way okay do you know what i mean so you see how you see that see so i'm going to cut it across that by the way be careful with boxes sometimes especially from restaurants and stuff grocery stores because cockroaches love to lay their eggs this is like the ultimate home for cockroaches so bear that in mind I'm dead serious. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I lay one just this way. We're gonna do a cross, okay? Up, down, left, right. Take the symbol, I set it face down, okay? Put a, uh, yeah, there's a little drop of water that got it. We don't want that. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'll put a little piece of tape. There, okay, to secure that. So now I'll check this out. So now the symbol's resting on this, Did you see? See that? So what I'm gonna do is put it about middle way, and I'm gonna fold this piece, it gets creased by the symbol proper, okay? So now you sort of have it, you have it folded around like, a, like this, okay? See? So then you take your tape, check a piece, Set this over the table edge and put the tape just around over that primary bend and then you're gonna so you have it essentially now a piece of tape on the top secured so the bottom is like this the top is like this. see the tape i'm going right across tape wraps around the corner here tape wraps around the corner there and i do it the cross way okay cross sectional same thing Bend that guy. Bend that guy. Get, get about a 16 inches of tape. Bend it around this side, just for extra support. You know, you know. Ultimately, you don't have to, but I would advise that. Okay, and then and there it is. Okay. I'm gonna have to do this one again because it's sort of well, it doesn't matter. You want it tight, a tight, a tight grip. Just so now the edges are protected. Okay, the edges are protected. Let me get that one so it's on there super tight. Okay, so see this? This baby's ready to be put in a box. Okay, so I get a box. The boxes that I use, the boxes that I use. I use U-line boxes, which are out of, um, I 
Which out of Wisconsin. So you can buy these things, I don't know, for a few bucks a piece. You know, but remember, in your shipping, you gotta include that. You gotta be, you know, people sometimes think everybody gets a free box. You know, no, it's not the case. All right, so go like so. This is just, it just folds like this, right? Right, there it is. So a trick with this is, you can get a big piece and just go right across. But what I normally do is I get a piece about four inches. See here, I put it, see how that is? So half the tape is stuck, the other half is just out in the air, and then this thing is dangling. See how that looks? See? All right, so what that enables me to do is then fold the box in the fashion, the shape I want it, and I can get it, what I want to do is I want to make it, you know, I want to get that as closed, and then also to be flush on the end. So you just go like that. Okay. I'll do the same on the other side. Right. And there it is. So it's held together by two pieces on each end. Now what you do is you take a big old chunky of the tape. And then pull it. I'm going to set this right down uh, par uh, parallel. So, the, so the, the crack of the box will be right in the middle of the tape. Set that baby down. And the great thing to do with tape is to take your hand, kind of rub them warm, and rub the tape. I know it sounds like overkill, but just rub it. See how you rub it? Because then you ensure it's totally freaking stuck. Okay, the box is now open, ready to go. So I do is I'll just fold these, make sure they're foldable. Yes, they are. And now the symbol we just packed up, Heisty 502. What I normally do is I get, what I can do now is newspaper works real good. You gotta crumble the shite out of it, okay? Cause this box is strong, it's a very strong box. So newspaper, put a little newspaper down on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna, let me get the newspaper in a minute, stand by. Newspaper. This is the Wall Street Journal. I do consider myself generally more liberal. The Wall Street Journal, I do find, is a great paper that's chock full of information, concise, without a lot of other stuff. My opinion. You know what I mean? All right, but in any case, what I do is I take a piece. See, this is a, a piece of the paper. Crumble it up. You know, nice and crumbled. Throw some in there. Throw some in there. Throw some in there. Alright, so I'm just throwing some in there. I'll show you what I do. Gigantic rodents move in. Huh. Alright. So probably in and out. Earnings for folks. That, yeah, we were in inflationary times, folks. Remember, two years ago, people were talking about the trillion dollar number and before it would be crazy. Now we're throwing around trillions like they were billions back in the 70s. So, buy some land. Look at Detroit. Detroit, I would say Detroit is a great deal. Okay. So what you do is you take... So now I just see how I just have the paper sort of just loose in there. And I make sure that I crumb it's all crumbled. And it's okay if it do crumble by it. So what I do is I'm going to take... This guy, they just set it straight in. Okay, hang on. So see how that's just sitting there. Okay, sitting there. Oops, I better make sure that that doesn't fall. All right. So now what I do? I crumble up more newspaper and I put it. Oops, Daisy. You make sure you kind of get it around. Like, see how I kind of I'm, I'm, I'm getting it around 
that let's just wrap a little around and then once you sort of wrapped all the way around you can throw just newspaper on top of it okay stand by god almighty hang on all right fast hard off. So I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, I, I think I mentioned this in the video yesterday. I sold my 24, 13, 16 classic maple that had the center imperial lug. Ludwig does that now. You can sort of order the shelves you want and then the lugs you want, sort of sort of custom. And uh, okay, now it's, it's snug. The paper's snug around in there. Now I'm just gonna throw some on top. But I sold it, and if you anybody wants your drug kit, it's at the Musical Realm in Milwaukee, Greenfield, Wisconsin. So that 241360 that I bought is in Wisconsin at the Musical Realm. All right, so remember, I'm selling stuff on eBay. Kingish, K-I-N-G-I-S-H is my handle. Oh, I'm waiting for it. So this is what I did is I sold the Silver Sparkle Ludwigs um, to finance my... 24, 13, 16 new Sonics that are coming today. Recently, Ludwig started to offer the new Sonics in 24 inch base drum size, 24 by 14. And of course, some of what they did too is they changed the new Sonic when it first came out was only offered 22 and 16 inch depth, but now that it's 22, it's 14 inch depth. So all the new Sonics are 14 inch depth base drum. All right, so I go like this. You just kind of see how See, once it gets about there, sorry, once it gets about there, see that now I have just newspaper sitting on top. Once it gets about there, you just sort of have some support. You might crumble up one more piece. This one. And toss it in there, especially in the center, so it can give some support. Now what I do is I fold this guy down, fold this guy down, do exactly what I did before, where I take a piece of tape, about three or four inches. Fold it down. Put it on the very, remember I said before, so it's about half of it's on here and the other half's hanging off. But also, too, you have half of it this way. That makes sense. So, see how that looks. Can you see that? Okay, see how it's half on, half off, and then half off this way. Down. See, I'm using my lower half to make sure I push the crease together. And then also to pull it this way. Just to make it flush this way. So now I have that secured. You see? And now I do the same for the other side. That's a squirrel. Not okay, so now I have it. It's like temporarily secured in each end. So now I take a big long piece. This is a 20 inch box. 20 this way. So I'll take about 22 inches of tape. And then press it down right. The crease will go obviously right in the center of the tape here. Go like that. Wrap it around. Take your hand, rub it. Again, rub the tape. You're generating maybe a little bit of heat on the edge here, around, around here. And just in case, go back over the bottom. Now this box, this thing is, this thing is, it's pretty, even if it's thrown, there's no dents or anything in the box, okay? This baby's ready to go. It's ready to rock. So that's just some health and shipping symbols. I remember one time I ordered a Peisty 505 20 inch ride on eBay. And it was here, I was living here. This is probably 15 years ago. So the person who sent it probably got advice from somebody like, put newspaper in it, like crumble it up like I just did here. I'm telling you, crumble up newspaper is very great packaging. Oh my God. That's my car auto starting. You know, that ha is there any way anybody, see this is an F a fob. Is there any way to disable this freaking start the car thing? Sometimes I, it starts. I bet that starts three times a day when I'm in the house doing so. What was I talking about? Uh, the car's starting. 
Oh, so I ordered a symbol from me on eBay, a 505 ride, 20 inch. And those things I think are typically about 2,250 grams. The 505 crash models, 18 and 20, are phenomenal. You might like the 18 inch mediums and 20 inch mediums as well. Anyway, so somebody probably got the advice to pack it with newspaper in a box. So they got a big box. It was a box that was probably 24, but it was huge. You can probably fit two snare drums in it. The symbol was dropped in there loose, just set, set in there, just sitting in the box. And a whole newspaper was thrown in. Like the person thought it was, it was like, yeah, you put newspaper in it. Kind of like maybe like, like it would be a good luck charm for the symbol or something. The symbol wasn't damaged. It might have had a little ding in it. Anyway, so hopefully this was helpful. More videos on the way. Drumming videos. I'm going to set those new Sonics up. Movie and business. Also, too, I'm going to put a song out. I did another song with Ty Bear. So I'll put that out, too, on the channel here. It's a video he made, but it's a song I did with him playing the drums. Um, so, again, here's a shout-out to Bonhamology. Remember George Flutus' Bonhamology. Also, the PFOZ, People's Front of Zeppelin, with George, Yvonne, and Pete, and Ty singing. My friend Ryan Jurevic, he has a channel here on YouTube, Vintage Drummer. Vintage Drummer, Ryan Jurevic. He's a monster. He's got... I sold him his like, first kind of real set of drums. I met him 25 years ago, 1996. That's a funny story. I should tell that real fast. I sold him a set of Slingerlands, 24, 13, 16. They were uh, five-ply, mid-late 70s. They, were, they sounded unbelievable. I sold them to him. I was sorry I sold them. He was sorry he ever sold them. He came over to the house to look at the... I had a Radio King set, an old Radio King set that was real old where the, the Tom Tom... I think in the floor tom had a regular head on top and a tacked bottom head. And it was really old and archaic. And he was like, oh, sorry, sir, you know, I'm not interested in that. But I had, just in case, the 24, 13, 16 set up in my brother's room in the apartment we were sharing. Only there was carpeting in his room, nowhere else in the house. So I used his bedroom because I wanted the drums to sit with the spikes on the carpeting. I didn't want to put it on the hardwood floor. So I said, hey, come on in the bedroom. <laughs> Let's see this kit. I remember he sort of stopped. All three of them sort of looked at me, and you know they're thinking that I'm gonna pull out the chloroform and be like, "Does this smell like chloroform?" Anyway, so he looked at the drums. He loved them. And he bought them. They were black, gloss, phenomenal drums. All right. So that's a true story. Well, wait. What else was I saying though? Yeah. So the yeah. So the the symbol. Anyway, Ty Vera. So yeah. A shout out to my friend Ryan Jurovic. That's J U R A V I C on YouTube. Vintage drummer. Yeah, I remember when he gave me his first tape of his band playing, like a few months later, he came over and he bought more cymbals and stuff. He he played, he didn't, you know, obviously wasn't the Chops King, but his time, it was like, he had just great time, he was born with it. So anyway, vintage drummer, okay? And of course, you know, there's that Craig Flowers fella here on YouTube, check that out. And of course, there's um, Musicians on the Record with David Ward, Musicians on the Record. Also, too, check out Zepparella, the all-female Led Zeppelin band with Clem Moss, Clementine Moss. She was kind enough to interview me for that Modern Drummer article. I was in June, the June 2021 issue. I had a full article and that was pretty cool. So I'm very proud of that. Anyway, honestly, more videos on the way here. Keep drumming and stay healthy, okay? Uh, don't forget my email address is bonzolium at gmail.com. If questions, I can also give lessons bonzolium at gmail.com i have some merchandise some coffee mugs my bonzolium 2a drumsticks and t-shirts okay they're white and has a logo on it bonzolium at gmail.com thank you